Good morning, everyone. Sunday had a game that Valley basketball fans had been looking forward to all season. Missouri State and Drake collided in Springfield with a conference championship potentially at stake, an emotionally charged afternoon for all, especially so for senior point guard Danielle Gitson. Final home game for number one in maroon and white. Gitson is the only senior on the team this year. She's been an invaluable team captain all year long. But Drake was crashing the party early on. That's the Valley's leading scorer, Becca Hittner, a putback two. Bulldogs had a 6-2 lead. Gitson got the offense going with a three in the first quarter. The only MSU triple of the day, one for 17 downtown. Drake, a little kill you from out there. Sarah Ryan, three of her game high 19 points. But look at Gitson getting crafty in the second quarter. Inbound off the defender's back and puts it up and in. Lady Bears were down by eight. Quick passing finds Sarah Ryan for two more. Bulldogs had an 18-point halftime lead. Lady Bears bring the fight out of the locker room. Jasmine Franklin gets the steal. Bryce Caleb the assist. Danielle gets in the bucket and the foul. MSU climbed all the way back within four, but Drake makes a couple back-breaking threes. That one by Maddie Monahan. The comeback comes up just short. Drake takes sole possession of first place, 70 to 61. You know, at halftime, I told our players we had two options. They could either fold or they could um, fight it. And well, they, they made a statement there, I thought. You know, they came back out and played hard. I didn't think I was going to tear up, but there's some tears. Um, but yeah, it meant a lot to me. And I don't know, just, it's just mixed emotions. So it's like nice being recognized after playing four years, but the season's not over. There's still an outside chance Missouri State can split the conference title, but they would need either Illinois State or Bradley to win this weekend in Des Moines, and the Lady Bears need to pick up wins at Evansville and Indiana State. They will be either the one or the two seed next week in the Quad Cities for the conference tournament. The Missouri State men missed out on a regular season championship over the weekend, but that doesn't mean much anyway when it comes to the big dance, the ultimate goal. After Saturday's loss to Drake, the Bears fell down to the four line in the Arch Madness bracket. They're going to take on Bradley in Friday's quarterfinal. You know, we're still competing for a championship next week. After we win that, and then we compete for another championship. So, I mean, you're always competing for a championship, and, you know, we just got to stay locked in, stay motivated, and be hungry. The Bears and Bradley Braves tip off in St. Louis 235 Friday afternoon. And we have nine local high school teams competing this week in the state finals at JQH Arena. We cannot wait for those games. With your Ozarks First Sports Report, I'm Dan Malloy.